Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Iswat. I make videos around faith, education, beauty, and lifestyle. If this is your first time coming up on my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to have you here. Please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you can always be notified when I have a new video up and running. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome as well. So glad to have you back. All right, let's get into today's video. In today's video, I'm just going to be taking you guys through some of the books in my personal library and just like why I decided to start a personal library, why did I start buying books, why did I start investing in books, some books that have changed my life. There should be books that are hopefully familiar with you guys as well. So yeah, stay tuned, we're gonna get right into it. So I am the type of person who genuinely enjoys reading. When I find a good book, I probably would not put that book down until I have finished the book. I find myself often getting lost in the pages of books that's just the kind of person i am really 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 love reading it was the end of 2020 I decided to just invest in some books to help me like improve in certain areas of my life with my finances with my like relationships developing my relationships just books around stuff like that you know i just wanted to build a library with books that i was interested in books that would help me grow and hopefully books that i'll be able to like hand down to my children as well so that's how it started so I, I did like a huge book haul from amazon bought a couple of books that i, I was able to read over 2020 2021 so just, um, a bit of why i started a personal library i'm just going to be sharing a couple of books in my personal library hopefully it's books that you guys have read looking through some of the things that i learned from each of those books so get ready guys we're getting right into it the first book that i'm going to be talking to you guys about is my all-time favorite book probably the best book i read I invested time reading it and this book is called God is good he's better than you think so if you follow me on Instagram you've most definitely seeing me talk about this book a little backstory 2021 was a very interesting year for me it was one of my first wilderness experience as a christian things just felt really dry not necessarily because i had done something wrong but that was just god using that season to mature and to grow me the holy spirit inspired me or led me to buying this book by bill johnson because in that season I guess it started to feel like you know, it's got really good if he is why am i going through stuff like this you know all of that good stuff if you, if you haven't watched my top lessons from 2021 or what 2021 taught me please i'm gonna link the video somewhere please take time to watch that video this was the one of my best reads for 2021 and basically this book just addresses a lot of things in the christian faith and i find that a lot of christians like myself they you know they declare or they profess that God is good um, but deep down they don't really believe that thing that they're saying or when like trials and stuff come they don't really believe that God really is good and yeah this this book really just I guess it just opened my mind and just like solidified the fact that God really is a good God regardless of what happened to me what happens to people around me yeah so really amazing book i highly recommend this book for all believers it would help ground your faith in god and not like in the things that you receive from god but in the person of god himself so so how i read books i usually like make like highlight <laughs> things that really struck me and at, at the end of each chapter i would do like a like a summary or what i learned from this chapter so maybe like over time if i've forgotten you can just come back and like read the summary and you know yes that's all-time favorite book 2021 god is good he's better than you think okay so another book in my personal library that i have read that was just really amazing was this book by kenneth hagen it's called right and wrong, wrong thinking and basically it was just highlighting how as christians as believers we are to think how our thought process is supposed to be how it's supposed to align with the word of god and, he, and one thing that really stuck to me from this book was what you think is what you believe and it's what you confess personally i went into the trap of like just dwelling on negative thoughts which would lead to me believing negative things and then confessing negative things so this book really helped me in that area of just like aligning my thoughts with the word of god and so i highly recommend this book as well so the next book that i'm gonna talk about is one of the most interesting novels i have read a novel that i've read so it's called pearl in the sand and it's basically the story of rahab i'm sure we all know rahab in the bible you know the a work of fiction but it broadens your mind to just like see how rahab really was a woman of faith so i highly recommend this book really amazing really really beautiful learned a lot of things from this book okay so that's 
another book in my personal library that I've read, that I've enjoyed reading, and I've learned um, one or two things from it. Another book in my personal library that I read that has really encouraged me and challenged me is this book called Ruth Strategic Wisdom to Overcome the Impossible. So it's a book by Jumoke Adonowo. The book just talks about the journey of Ruth in life and how she was faced with impossible situations, some of the principles that she put in place to overcome the impossible situations. And one thing that really stuck to me from this book was that you know, God is a God of principle. Life, you know, life should be lived by principles. If you follow principles, you would see results. So that really stuck with me from this book. So this is another book in my personal library that I enjoyed reading and I've also learned you know, amazing things from it. I, I would highly recommend this book as well. I bought this particular book because I was interested in just growing my character. I felt like there were gaps in my character that I wanted to improve on. And so I got this book. It's a, it's a, set, of, it's a set of three. I think the first is Rahab and then Ruth and then Tama. So those three women in the Bible, really amazing. Books. like a couple of books i have like so like i can't i can't go through every book in my library i'm just highlighting maybe highlighting a couple of books that you know really really i really learned a, a lot of things from them maybe one day i might do <laughs> all the books in my library <laughs> let me know in the comment section if you want me to just show you guys all the books in my personal library <laughs> one thing that i am very guilty of is spending money on books i'm definitely a book hoarder i which isn't very healthy I recommend it i would recommend you buying the book that you want that particular book you want to read and when you finish it you go on to buying the next book don't don't be like me don't don't do a book haul and <laughs> buy 20 books and read like five out of it but anyways you know just some of the books in my personal library it's been so fun building my own library because like i said I, i'm including books i genuinely enjoy reading and books that and um, by the grace of god i will hand down to my children yeah i really encourage like if you are a young person if you're looking for a hobby to get into you can you know that can be something you you decide to do building a personal library buying books that you're interested in reading them including them in the library yeah guys that's pretty much what i have to share for you today let me know what kind of books have you read what kind of books have encouraged you what kind of books have challenged you as a person as a christian you know other books that you recommend that i read that would help me with you know literally anything finances career faith let me know in the comment section all right thank you so much for watching my video guys i'll see you in my next video bye